In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix some common vector errors that you might get when you try to create a toolpath in your Vetric program. Okay, here's a project that I'm working on. This will be a subject for a future video. Uh, it's a basically a Thanksgiving themed uh, napkin holder. And I'm setting up right now a profile toolpath around the outside of each of the parts. And when I go ahead and I click calculate, I'm getting ignoring unsuitable open vectors. One open vector where identified in the selection are being ignored and there's three remaining vectors. So I click okay. And I could see here that I've got these three parts have actually been uh, processed, right? So I, if I click this, I could see these three parts are okay. But this one that was down here is missing. So what I need to do is figure out, okay, when I click this, I've got a vector that's going all the way around, so it looks okay. Uh, not really sure, you know, what the problem is here. Why is it saying there's an open vector when I click on it and it's actually showing me a complete closed vector? Well, thankfully, Vetric has a tool. If you click on this check mark here, it's the vector validator. I know a lot of people don't know about this, but it's it's actually a pretty helpful uh, tool that I use often whenever I run into this problem. If you go ahead and you click this, a dialog box is going to appear for the vector validator. It's going to look for the following issues, zero length spans, overlaps, and intersections. So all we need to do is make sure that we have the vector that we want to inspect highlighted. And we know this is the one that we need to look at because it didn't show up in the preview. And now we'll click search selected. Now this is telling me that there's one error for, it's an intersection error and it's actually highlighted by the square right here. So as I zoom in, and sometimes you have to zoom in really far to start to see the problem because the error might be so small that from when you're zoomed out at 100%, you don't even notice it. Now in this particular case, I could see the problem right here. I have a, a vector that's connected that goes all the way around, but I have one extra vector that comes out here and is not actually connected. It's just a, an open-ended vector, and that's what's causing that error. Okay, so to solve that problem, it's actually the really simple way to solve this particular problem is to use the scissor tool. Just come over here and clip that vector. You'll notice that there's still an open vector right here, so sometimes you have to zoom in even closer and clip it again. Now, you'll see right here, I'm zoomed in all the way, and there's still a tiny little uh, open vector there. Now what Vetric will do is when I hit close, it'll actually join that together automatically because the spacing is so small, it knows that it should join that as, as one vector. And now when I look at this uh, outline, it's showing as a, a solid outline like it did before, but I'm going to go over here to the vector validator, click search selected, and now I've got no errors on that. So that's that's the easiest way to fix it. If you have an, an open vector that's hanging off the end, you could just use the scissor tool and you can clip it. Now, sometimes you're going to go ahead and you're going to process your toolpath and it's going to give you this same error. And when you look here again, you'll notice it's the same vector that's having the issue. So if I go ahead and preview this, uh, I don't get that one processed. So if I go back to 2D view, I know that there's still an issue with this particular vector here. So if I go to vector validator and do search selected, it's actually telling me that there are no issues here. So now you really got to ask yourself, okay, why is this vector not processing a toolpath and it's not being picked up by the validator? So the easiest way to really dive into this is to go to node editing mode. And what I'm looking at here is to see the node points that, that make up this particular uh, shape. So you can see I've got at the end of every line, I've got a black node point. Everything looks good all the way around. And this side should be a mirror image of this side, but I could see that I've got a couple extra node points in here for some reason. So if I'm gonna check that out more, what I can do is zoom in and we'll take a closer look at what's going on. As I zoom in, I could see that I've got these, these two vectors are not actually connected. Okay, so that's, that's a problem and that's why that profile toolpath is not working. I'm not quite sure why the vector validator doesn't pick that up as an issue, but that's why I'm showing you this because it is still a possibility that you have a problem. Now, if I go to node editing and I click on this, the other thing I notice is that I've got this node point here, which essentially can be connected to this one, but for some reason there's an extra line segment in there and I'm not really sure why that's there. So the easiest thing to do, I, I, can, I have two choices. I could either click on this node point and bring it over here and simply attach it. So now, you know, I've got uh, a straight continuous line there. 
The problem with that is that every node points an extra line of G code. Now, granted, this isn't going to be anything that's going to be noticeable uh, on your production speed, but just as a as a means of always trying to get the cleanest, quickest tool pass you can, what I suggest doing here is eliminating this particular uh, vector point here because you don't need it. So what you can do is is click on this top node point until it turns red, and then just hit the C key for cut. Now, if I go ahead and I select this uh, vector segment here, I can hit the delete key and it goes away. So now I can go ahead and select the line again, still in node point editing mode. And as long as my smart snapping is on here, I can drag this node point down and it'll snap right to the other one. Okay, so now when I go and I click this, I can see that I have a, a complete vector and if I check the vector validator, it should still say that there's no issues. So now what we're going to do is go back here to the profile tool path and we're going to calculate it. And lo and behold, I still have an error. So now I'm really confused. Okay, I got rid of the, the vector segment. I got rid of the open vector. I joined it. What's going on here? Well, what you need to do is you actually need to use the join vector command there. Because even though I join these two together at this point and I zoom in all the way and I could see that they're connected, Vectrix still didn't completely join that as one closed vector. So the easiest way to do that, to deal with that, is simply click on the outside profile vector and then go over here to join open vectors. Now when you click this, and this is another kind of tool, in addition to the vector validator, you can always check a vector that's given you an issue by going to join open vectors. Now what you're looking for here is it says the selected vector has zero closed vectors and one open vector. So that's the first sign that there's an error here. And you can check any vector you want this way. If you look at a vector that is a good one, such as this one, you should see it say one closed vector and zero open vectors, okay? And also the join key will be grayed out. But if you go to this one that has an issue, it says it's zero closed vectors, which means it's open, There's which it's telling you there's one open vector, and vectors after joining. So the join button is active now, and after you join it, you'll have one closed vector and zero open vectors, okay? So this is another means of just double checking if you have any errors in your, in your vectors on your design. So if I just click join, and I can close that, nothing's really changed. Uh, I, I can click on it, and the profile highlights. I can go to vector validator and select it. Everything is good, just like before. The only difference now is when I go ahead and I select these profiles and I go ahead and calculate, I don't get the error anymore. And lo and behold, this uh, lower shape is now uh, being processed. So when I, I click preview and I get rid of the tool, now you can see I, I actually have that uh, part there as well. So that's another way of kind of identifying uh, potential vector errors. And I, I've had both happen quite often where I'd have a joined vector, but I'd have an erroneous uh, open line kind of off there. And I don't notice until I zoom in. And I've also had it where I've had the two vectors that are actually not joined together. So those are two common things you'll find when you're designing something that can cause a problem. And it can be really frustrating if you don't know what to look for because you'll keep processing it, you'll think it's the end mill size, you'll, you'll try a bunch of different things and you'll be like, okay, I give up, I don't understand what's going on here. Uh, so the, the other option that you have, or the other issue I should say, is sometimes you'll get, uh, You'll, you'll have a duplicate vector underneath the existing vector, all right? And what that'll look like is if I click this and I copy it. Now, this is another potential issue. So when you click on a vector, it should show as a purple dashed line, just like this. That means that's a good clean vector with nothing under it, no, you know, no, no apparent issues. Again, you may have an open, which you have to go in and, and go to node editing to check like I just showed you. But the other option is you could come over here and now see when I click this, see how it's, it's got, I can see the purple dash line there, but I can also see a solid black line. And what that's doing is that's telling me that I've got two vectors stacked. 
And that could potentially cause an issue when you create a toolpath as well. Now, this happens a lot when I import DXF files from different programs. Like if I have a DXF file that I bring in from, uh, say, uh, Fusion 360, every once in a while, for some reason, it brings in double vectors. And then I have to go and I have to delete the, at least one of them until I get back to just a solid, uh, you know, pink dash line here. I don't know why it happens. Uh, it's just common. Uh, some DXFs that you bring in from other programs will have some erroneous uh, vectors that you have to deal with. So what all you have to do on this is pretty simple. Just select the, uh, the outside and just hit the delete key. Now, when I select it again, I have the dashed line. So all I did was I just basically deleted the duplicate vector that was underneath it. Okay, so I hope this uh, tip helps you out and saves you a little bit of frustration. Uh, when you have uh, open vectors and you're not able to make a toolpath. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can be notified of future videos that we're working on. And I look forward to producing another one here very soon.